All right, now we're going on to the creative gateway number two in Photoshop. So just a little bit on creative gateway one, the adjustment layer gateway. You have all these options. Another cool one that you want to check out is levels. And the way that works is these sliders here, right? You can change the darkness here. You can change the lightness here. You can change the midtones here. Okay, so this is a really nice uh, change to the uh, photo as well. So again, you can hide that. So um, those two are big, levels and curves. And okay, so let's move on to gateway number two. And that is up here in the filter section. Nope, sorry, let's go on to here. Let's go to image, image adjustments. And look at all these things you see here. Notice how a lot of them are grayed out. That is because when you bring a photo into Photoshop from Camera Raw and you select Open Object, you have what is called a Smart Object Photo here. Okay, you can tell it's a Smart Object because it has those two white dots on it. Okay, so it's limited though. Photoshop can only do a few certain things with a smart object layer. So here's what you do. You right click. You want to keep that because you can always double click this thumbnail here and go back into camera raw and make adjustments. Okay? So you want to keep that. So what you do is you right click. You don't hit duplicate layer. You hit new smart object via copy. That makes a copy of that and now we want to get rid of the smartness and make it dumb turn it into a normal layer so right click on it and hit rasterize layer rasterize basically is stripping it and turning it into a normal layer notice the white dots are gone okay by the way when you right click on a layer always do it on this blue area over here now watch what happens when I go to now I have my new layer selected here okay I go to image adjustments and look at all the options here you will notice that most of these are the same ones that are in the adjustment layers so what's the difference the difference is when you do an adjustment layer it creates its own layer okay so it gives you a lot of control you can always remove the curves if you don't like it or you can change the opacity of that curves effect okay Here's the difference. When I go to image adjustments, and let's say I apply an exposure setting. Okay, let's say I brighten this up. I'm going to make it look bad for a second. And I hit OK. That just apply that effect to the photo. Okay, now these uh, pixels in this layer are permanently affected. I can't take that off now unless I do an undo. Okay, so the disadvantage is it per, it's a, it permanently affects the pixels, okay? As opposed to something up here, it's on its own layer, it's not affecting the actual photo, okay? Now, here's how adjustment layers work, is they affect anything that's underneath it, okay? So if I were to take this photo and drag it up above the adjustment layers, none of these effects are applied to this now because it's above okay so sometimes you want just an effect to affect one layer and that's when you would go to this image adjustments I just want this black and white on this one layer I don't want any of the other layers affected by the black and white effect okay so you use this gateway when you want to isolate an effect to one layer you use adjustment layers when you want to apply it to multiple uh, layers or anything underneath it. So that's gateway number two. Hey, wh where's gateway number three? You have to go to the next tutorial to find out.